They look out for us, they fight for us, and the Better Business Bureau is always here for us. And right now, many of us feel more vulnerable than ever before, but we have the BBB here in Southern Arizona to turn to. And Sean Herdrick, the Director of Marketing and Communications for the BBB, is joining us this morning with more. Good morning, Sean, great to have you here. So we have been hearing about so many different scams that are going on right now, but what is it about these seed packets that we've been hearing about that are being sent to people here in the United States from China? You know, it's funny. We've been hearing about this for about a month or so, and apparently people all around the United States are starting to receive these mysterious seed packages that are postmarked from China. We've looked into this pretty extensively, and it's still really not known why these are being sent or even really what these seeds are. At, on first glance, it looks similar to what we would call normally like a brushing scam. And this is where companies will send out unsolicited products to random people to boost their sales numbers or in order for the company themselves to post false positive reviews of their products. Um, it could also be some type of invasive species designed to have recipients plant these and cause some type of environmental harm, but we really just don't know. Our advice is to keep the seeds sealed, don't plant them, don't throw them away, Call your local Department of Agriculture and take the seeds to them to study and dispose of properly and safely. We would also advise anyone that receives these um, or any unsolicited package to really keep an eye on their accounts uh, because they may have had their personal information compromised. Yeah, I mean, it's so unnerving and um, it's so worrisome at the same time. So during this pandemic, a lot of scammers seem like they're more willing than ever to take advantage of people who are really scared right now and in precarious situations like food and housing. So are you guys seeing more scams that are related to coronavirus? Yeah, unfortunately, we're seeing an uptick in the scammers preying on people who are in a financial bind, especially homeowners that are struggling financially. We've had more reports of mortgage scams where the scammer will place ads to help homeowner, homeowners get out of their mortgage. Usually this involves the scammers asking you to sign over the title of your property and suggest that you pay them rent directly to stay in the house. We would urge anyone who's having trouble making their mortgage payments to deal directly with their lender or bank. Many times these scammers are just looking for a quick buck but other times you may lose your house entirely with no recourse. No, it's really sad that we have to remain so vigilant, especially right now with this virus. Um, so any scams that actually involving coronavirus testing, I've heard of this. Um, scammers like maybe impersonating testing companies, what's going on with this? Well, it's interesting. We've had reports of scammers calling people to tell them that their test results are ready, but they have to pay to receive them over the phone. And in reality, no laboratory will ever give you results over the phone. Um, usually your doctor will be the one to give you those results. Um, so you really need to be aware of anyone calling and asking for payment for these tests. We've also sat, had reports of scammers that are calling victims and telling them that there are mandatory testing programs and they'll ask you to prepay for a home test that will be sent to you in the mail. And there are dozens of websites offering home test kits that are not real. And if they aren't, you know, they aren't FDA approved for sure. Our suggestion is to just be very, very wary of any type of testing outside of the federally or state approved sites and never ever give your information over the phone. Yeah, and the fact is they're so good at this I and mean, they're so convincing and you don't like to think the worst when somebody is telling you something about your health, but you do have to be skeptical and be wary, like you said. So if somebody thinks they're being scammed, what should they do? Because I think we can't say this often enough. Don't be embarrassed because so many people are victims of this. No, exactly. Uh, we encourage anyone to verify who they're speaking with. Um, call back, find the number yourself and do your own research. Visit our BBB Scam Tracker site at www.bbb.org scam tracker and to see if there are any similar reports of in the area of these scams. And above all, be really protective of your personal information and never give that information to someone that you haven't verified. Sean, you're always looking out for us. Thank you so much. It's really comforting to hear all the information that you've given us today in terms of how you always have our back. Thank you. Thank you so much, Heather. It's good speaking with you.
And again, if you would like to report a scam to the Better Business Bureau, you can visit them online at bbb.org slash scam tracker, or you can simply give them a call at 520-888-5353.